if I could just finish, um, you said you referred to a memo that Officer Defina had written uh, when he was ordered in on his day off. Right. Well, and you also said there were several memos that had gone back and forth that day, and this was the final one. Well, here's a four-page memo that maybe you haven't seen, and in it it states, this is written by Officer Defina. He says he was asked about my letter to the editor, and in it he says he has confiscated several knives from, from students at school. That was what was in the, my letter to the editor. I have dealt with several incidents involving knives while in the schools. Where it says, this is Officer Defina writing this, where it says, as well as discovering a student that, would act, that was actually selling knives in school, that one I actually did. Where it says he dealt with fights on the school buses, that one I actually did too. Where it says numerous thefts, that one I did as well. Where it says threatening emails, there weren't so much emails, but rather letters and notes and blogs, which is kind of the same thing, but I dealt with that too. Where it says confiscated drug paraphernalia, that one we also did where it says handle truancy issues within all our schools from Underhill to high school students. I have had truancy issues at all of the schools, but I'm not quite sure about Memorial. That's the letter, that's the memo that isn't getting passed around that he submitted. Okay, let me just address a couple things there. You read about the knives that was fully getting sold in school. No, I didn't read about well, it. You brought that up. It right. should be in your right to know request packet that you brought, okay? And if you read that report, it was reported to the police department 10 days after the incident happened. The kid sold the knife to another kid in school. They reported it to us 10 days later. We didn't seize any any knife. If I call up my independent recollection, and those are in the right to know. So if I get a memo like that, okay, and that comes to me, I would say interpret it the same way you did. That that's what happened in the school. Some kid sold the knife to another kid. But if you learn from reading the report that it happened 10 days, it wasn't reported to us to 10 days later, how can we count that as a knife getting sold in the school that we didn't know about? I can't, put, I can't stop that if I don't know about it. Right? So That's instead, confusing. the report that goes forward is, one, is, is, the, is the memo that you're passing out? Oh, this is what I... Claiming, claiming that there's nothing going on by Officer Defina? Now, this is inaccurate information. And it's very deceitful. Who's inaccurate? Oh, I got an answer. I hold it right now. Hold it. That's it. I've had enough. I'm telling you right now. I want an internal investigation on this because either this was signed and he lied or somebody else is lying. You have a copy of this. I want to. We have that memo that she's referring to. Yeah. I want the whole thing researched and reported back to this commission. Who has the memo? Stepping back from what I just said about that investigation, so that there's no questions of impropriety, Steve, I want the county sheriffs to do it. Okay. So for the record, why was it the field memo sent out to the media after the February meeting between the school and police? By the sheriff's department investigation. Um, could you describe the scope of the sheriff's investigation? So we're not to, to be able to understand what you're investigating? Sure. You, well, the reason I ask, Commissioner, is that you held up the memo and said we're going to investigate, I'm calling for a sheriff's investigation. And I guess my question is, you know, I've asked a couple of questions here tonight that were, were under that scope, and I'd just like to find out, is, is the investigation revolving only around that memo, or are there other issues that are included in the investigation? investigation was called for the for the accusations that there was untruthfulness in this department and I put an end to it and then it was the whole scope of everything going on. So is it safe to assume that it's the entire department that's in, under investigation? Well, it's the SRO the, issue. The entire, yeah, the SRO, SRO issue. issue revolving from there. That's the scope of the county sheriffs. So it's just an investigation regarding the SRO officers program? Any allegations made from such? Uh, is there any resolution on the internal investigation related to Officer Dino's memo? Is that what you're I was wondering if there was any resolution to the internal investigation on, on Jay's uh, memo. Um, 
I'm not sure which memo you're talking about, but internal investigations and personnel matters, so they would never be discussed or disclosed, no matter what the level is of it. Well, we brought it up at the uh, last meeting. Well, there was a four-page memo. We got reduced down to a one-page memo. That would be part of the sheriff's department. That's correct. Uh, David, getting back to your, your first question, uh, I would think that would be under the preview of the Sheriff's Department on how they want to conduct their investigations. I mean, uh, we, have no, right thing. We, we have no input into that. Well, maybe, let me just add further comment that I, I would, one of the reasons that I'm asking for some clarification is that I thought that the way that it happened was rather unusual because there was no motion, there was no vote. Generally, with a motion, there would be a description of what was going to take place. Usually, the wording is very careful in the motion before people vote. Uh, since there was no motion, there was nothing really on the record other than what Commissioner Gagnon said. So uh, I thought it left it a bit vague as to what was being investigated. Can I just clarify that here again, I think it would be up to them to determine the parameters. I mean, I'm, I'm not familiar with internal affairs investigations. I believe we give the Sheriff's Department orders. Well, I guess my, <coughs> my understanding that you requested an investigation regarding the memo and the SRO program now. That's what you Well, basically said. the wording the Chairman used that night when he said that that's what he wanted investigated. That's what was related to the Sheriff's Department. So that's where their focus, their starting point would be. I would just add my comment that I find it very uh, unusual that there wasn't a motion and there wasn't a vote to initiate something as important as an investigation of the police department. I would. Uh, I didn't say what? No, there wasn't. I, I also question whether you acted as a board or whether the commissioner invested, you know, initiated the investigation. Thank you. County Sheriff's Department recently released its findings of the investigation it conducted regarding whether or not a cover-up existed by the Hooksett Police Department regarding safe school reports. To paraphrase, the investigation concluded that the Hooksett Police Department did not intentionally cover up safe school reports, they were just incompetent. The report contained a lot of he said, she said, but it also alluded to some very troubling practices. I'm referring to the investigator's comments that statements made by Commissioner Gagnon left an impression that he was speaking in terms that the police department and the police commission had acted as one rather than independently. The investigators also concluded that the Hooks of Police Commission could have taken a more active role in the handling of the incident. This view is based on the fact that communication between the police department and the complainants was very clearly de deteriorating at a rapid pace. As a result, the lack of effective communication between the parties may have given an appearance that a cover-up of safe school reports was taking place. It is believed that the police commission, being both independent and unbiased, should have recognized the situation for me and stepped in sooner and taken a stronger role in the process of resolving the issue. The commission could have ordered the production of the safe school reports prior to this action being taken by the Willex. It is also described that the police department took a defensive stance regarding this issue. The report also states that if the commission believes that additional action is needed, it is advised that they consider contracting an independent resource to conduct a full study of the department and its operations. I believe everyone in this room has an opinion regarding the operations, behavior, and management style of the Hooks Police Department. Unfortunately, they are all very different viewpoints. At this time, is the police commission considering the option suggested by the Sheriff's Department to end the speculation once and for all and conduct a full study for a full audit? No. We're talking about just before you um, instigated the report by the sheriff's department. You held up the memo from <coughs> uh, which was the fourth draft of the, the Defina memo in response to Maura Olet's letter in the banner. And at that point, you said, "We're going to find out who's lying. Somebody's lying here, and we're going to find out. We're going to have an investigation." And it's my understanding that the scope of that investigation didn't include that memo. That's my first question. And if it did, did we determine what happened with that memo? I don't know. What I can do is I don't have it with me tonight. Is I have a I have the original letter that 
was sent to the Sheriff's Department with what they were asked to do. I can bring that to the next meeting. Well, I'm, sure, I'm sure you reviewed the report. Yes. Correct? Correct. I have. I, I, I suppose I could write to them and get it. I, I don't know where it is, but my question is, in reviewing the report, does the report answer that question? I do not believe on the specific memo. I, I could be mistaken, but well, then I have my, a copy of that report, and my, I will check it out. My question would be then, shouldn't we follow up on that to answer that question? Because your own words, when you were holding that memo up, was, we're going to find out. We waited. I waited. I don't have no further questions about it, because I thought that there was a process in place that was going to find that answer. And to my knowledge, it hasn't been answered. Uh, obviously, it's an important question to you because you're the one that stated we were going to find out about it. Can we have a follow up on that? Can we find out what happened to that man? No? Absolutely. Give me, give me the original letter. Thank you. Um, at the last meeting, you told us that you would look into the issue of the fourth Defina memo and who was lying about that. Have you done that? I still haven't got that. I have not received the fourth memo. I had asked for a copy of it, and I forgot who said they would present me. Well, Mr. Gaddy, back in, I don't even know how long ago it was, you held that memo up and you said, somebody's lying and we're going to find out. The sheriff's report didn't address it. I brought it up last month. You said you were going to address it. What I said was I would get a copy of it, and then we would address it, and I don't have a copy of it. That was published to the, that, that, was, that was handed out in this room and you can't produce a copy of it, and therefore we have another month without any answers. Is that what, is that, is that what you're telling me? Mm -hmm. uh, can you tell me why Captain Celia thinks the sheriff's investigation was conducted on him? That's what the sheriff, when I first initially interviewed with the sheriff's department, they asked me what I thought the interview was about. That's when I advised them what I thought the interview was about, and I was not corrected. Because you have to have a subject of in an internal investigation as well as witnesses. So therefore, the sheriff's department did not correct the fact that I was subject of. So that's your question. Did that mean the paperwork was miswritten? Or? Mr. Lazat, you had your five minutes. Does that answer your question, Mr. J.R.? Uh, not really. Well, J.R., why don't you ask him if the BIA was misrepresented? Yeah, that's really what it was. It, was it? Well, we're not, okay. No. Was we have a general discussion? discussion? Yeah. No. No. Um, I was just wondering why the sheriff's investigation <clears throat> was not part of the SRO's me uh, memo as previously instructed by Chairman Gagnon. I was wondering who made the formal request to the sheriff's investigation. We cannot, I believe the chief. You did. actually have the letter. That was in your packet. It is. Actually, I think you asked last month about that. Somebody asked about the, uh, what was asked of the, what was asked what the of the asked sheriff's them? department for them to investigate. It should have been in the packet. I don't think so. It was identified to be in I was missing a few things in this package, so do you have it? No. You were the only one that was going to because you had said you were I was going to say, I didn't read anything about that. Yeah, it didn't want to back. It wasn't my back. That's all right, I had it in Henry's mail too. <laughs> yeah. As you remember, the commission discussed um, having the Sheriff's Department look into it and the question that was discussed here and that went to the commission to the, um, the question that went to the Sheriff's Department was this. Did any member of the Hooks and Police Department intentionally try to cover up the existence of safe school reports regarding the Collie School or attempt to cover up safety issues in the Hooks at Public Schools? And I believe that addressed the lie. And that that was the, that was the wording from the commission of what the what the Sheriff's Department was being asked to investigate. 
that was what I asked for last month when I said I had asked for a copy of it. It just so went to Henry and said it to me. That's why I said I didn't get it. But if, you, if you go back and look at the videotape, it's pretty clear that you said the investigation was going to be based on Jay's memo. Correct. I do, I do remember saying okay. that. And I'm just wondering, how did it, how did it come from uh, the memo being investigated to safe school reports? But that's what everything was based on, was the safe school reports. We were accused of lying on the safe school reports, was the accusation made. If I, if I remember correctly, and I could be wrong at this point, is going back months. Yes, we can Going from memory, it was based on two conflicting stories, and we felt that somebody was lying on the safe school reports. We had two opposite ends. I think you need to look at that memo, I mean the uh, videotape. You'll see that it's, it's pretty clear that the, what the investigation was going to be on was about Jay's memo. What was, was the memo? The safe school report. What was the memo? Excuse me? What was the memo? He had two, he had, he had four, three or four different memos. Uh, one was uh, basically... Uh, the ones that we supposedly said to be rewritten four different times. That is Am correct. I correct? That is correct. I don't... If you read the first memo and you read the, read the last memo, you see there's two different uh, stories in there. Which we've never read, I don't believe. Uh, I would suggest you read those two because they're... Okay. Time, Jay. Thank you.